The dumber people think you are, the more surprised they're going to be when you kill them. William Clayton Hey everyone, it's Curly Haired Hero, and welcome back to some more Catherine. Uh, last time we failed miserably trying to conquer the first floor of the Inquisition. Not exactly too happy about my performance in that episode, but we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get her back. go forward. How much longer are we gonna play this game? Stop complaining and sit down. Oh man. Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. When faced with a choice, do you go with your gut or with your logic? <laughs> this is a really tough question for me to decide. Because... Uh, <laughs> I'm quoted as constantly saying, believe in the heart of the cards. Uh, jokingly, even in matters that... Or especially in matters that don't have to do, you know, any sort of cards. I'm always, you know, doing that. Uh, I take a lot of chances and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm crazy and I'm always overthinking things. So, I, I don't know. Usually what it is, like, I'll do the whole crazy overthinking thing. And then if it's after a while, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go with my gut. So, I guess it's which one of these do I make more often. And I'm going to have to say my gut. Of course. You chose that one. I'm slowly starting to know you better. Now, this is the fourth floor. Once you're past this, you will be halfway through. Finally. Night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me, damn it. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? What are you trying to say? <laughs> we'll go soon. So I want you guys for the rest of the episode to think what he means by that. Because I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this game has crazy amounts of symbolism. Uh, down to literally every little detail. But um, that little, I guess, hint that he just told us is going to involve what our boss is going to be at the end of the Inquisition. But let's see what other players answered. Wow, that's got to be the closest down the middle split that we've seen thus far. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, so, I don't, is this really the final level already? Huh. Oh, it's only the second floor. Alright, there we go. Nope, the that is the final area. Wow. A steep face is in your path. Stay calm and take it step by step. Alright, let's see if we can hopefully get past this. I could have swore the Inquisition was a lot longer, but I guess not. That's kind of what I wanted you guys to guess that, but since it came out really quickly, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, last time I was talking about getting more into details in my quote-unquote first love. I was talking about this girl that I kind of crushed on in... Uh, oh yeah, he has a like, shockwave. Uh, this girl that I kind of crushed on in... Not high school, what is this called? do this. Alright, I guess I could do this, pull this off, and then come across here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I was pretty much talking about that. Not too much developed from that since, again, I was really shy, didn't really do anything. It's pretty much mainly just all talk between me and my uh, cousin, whatever. Oh, balls. Alright, so I guess I can... That's not what I wanted to do, actually. Shit. Alright, there we go. I can do this. Alright, yeah, I could use... I forgot which technique it was. Oh, fuck. So I need to... Yeah, this isn't good! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Oh, god, okay. Whew. Yeah, when that shockwave hits you, it just knocks you straight down. Uh, but, yeah. Shortly after that, uh, let me think. I don't really remember anything specific. Well, 
Um, I do remember I had uh, several crushes. Oh, I remember one in specific that was kind of sad. Uh, there was this girl in, I'm still in the Catholic school, this was 6th grade after that. So after the whole debacle with the first chick with the boob, uh, moved on. Next year, you know, new grade, new me. Uh, <laughs> managed to move on. Um, didn't really, you know, still didn't really have any friends. I had like one friend, one and a half friends. Like I, I knew this one guy who started talking to me in the beginning of the, when I just, you know, arrived. Because I guess he kind of felt bad for me or whatever. And, you know, became decent friends. Talked and shit. And he was pretty cool. But he had this one friend uh, also who, I guess by, you know, association became my friend in a way but he was kind of annoying and uh, he didn't really like me too much <laughs> so I don't know if that really counts but anyways uh, shortly after that 6th grade came along and 6th grade was around the time of the uh, uh, September 11 attacks in New York City but uh, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to say this. It's so it's one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. Like I, even though I didn't actually really physically do anything, but basically I had a crush on this girl, right? And I mean I was oh man, I was crushing on her for a good while. Uh, naturally, like I said earlier, I wasn't really planning on doing anything about it, but uh, I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, surely afterwards. After the whole thing happened, I think I saw like a picture of her dad or something, and it was then it occurred to me that she was, I believe, Sheik is the religion, and I immediately was like, oh no, my super racism, my super racism, and my super paranoid, uh, <laughs> all this stuff kicked in, and I stopped liking it. To be honest, <laughs> this was sixth grade, so. Don't hate on me too much, but that was so stupid looking back on it now. Like, luckily I didn't, like, react in any sort of way towards her. I didn't, like, you know, stop talking to her or anything like that. Because it was nothing to begin with. <laughs> it's not like I was, you know, really close friends with her. So, uh, yeah. I think we got a, might have gotten a, no. Might have gotten a gold here, but we probably got a silver for the last level. Yeah. If I remember correctly, we didn't do really hot last time. But that wasn't too bad. I managed to take down the fourth level of Babel. Babel. It's not Babel. Babel is the <laughs> offline mode. Sorry. Disregard that. Anyway, a couple of hours later. So, what did you want to talk about? <sighs> what are you doing here? Ugh. Are you okay? Did you drink too much last night? You called me over, and you don't even remember. Huh? No way. Uh, I mean, yesterday, I... <sighs> What's wrong? You're acting weird. Weird? Me? God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? It's like... The important parts are missing. Oh, I remember them, though. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder why I... <laughs> Silly. Huh? Hey, what's this long hair? <sighs> That's mine. Probably off my chest. <laughs> you know, manly. <laughs> huh? Your chest? Really? Yeah, yeah. Y you know, uh, it's it's that. But you know, when sometimes a long white hair grows on your body, it's it's good luck. But this is like really long. Yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> good thing too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself. You know. Oh, really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, 
I'm going to die right here. Hey, hey, hey. knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die or I kill you. Which would be better? Take. Come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Fine, I'll give you five seconds. If you don't answer me, I'll kill you. One, two, huh? three, four. Hey, come on, come on. Quit fooling around. <laughs> Five. There's no other girl. Right, you're imagining things. Hmm. Is that the truth? Of course it is. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I trust you. Thanks. <sighs> God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh, no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! You don't have to get that, do you? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Sure, but uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> what the hell, Vincent? What is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. <clears throat> he gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... Uh. Huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Now hey! Try. Go, 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 go. Uh. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Uh, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen. I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I mean, you gotta give it to Vincent. Granted, you know, you probably think he's a douchebag for cheating and whatever. 
But at least, you know, he's quick on his feet. <laughs> Mess come up with a bunch of bullshit right on the spot. But anyways, that's gonna do it for tonight. Next time, we'll find out why we're in the bathroom. See you soon.